Okay, hello everybody and welcome back. It's Terry. And I am going to continue on from my In Orchid Today video and do this unboxing of my Fuchs Orange Nugget. Pardon my fingers. If you see paint, I've been painting a little bit. But this plant, I haven't had that long, um, but it, as you can see, it does have the habit of putting up sheets with every growth, and they don't, the pseudobulbs don't have to be so big in order for them to push forward from those sheets. You can see this one bloomed. So, but as you can see, the roots are all around the outside of the pot. So I really need to do this since they are putting up new growths, as you can see. And these growths will progress all summer. It will put up sheaths at the end of the new growths when they are matured into fall. And then they will push forward and bloom in the winter time. This just finished blooming. So uh, the, it had been pushing up growths prior to finishing its bloom, and it may actually be in the process of putting up more new growths because there were several growth points on this plant, but it is a good time to do it. So what I will do is I'm just going to work this out. I should have soaked the plant, but it's fine because you can see that it really just popped right out and although some of these roots on the outside are not good generally what it will do is it will put out new roots and those will bury itself trying to find media and it generally will go into the core of the plant and not stay around the outside uh, that's why you really need to get the plant before those roots get too long because it just increases the chance of you uh, damaging them uh, although for the most part you really are most concerned with the newest roots that are coming out from where the newest growths are coming out but for the overall health of the plant it is good to try to keep as many viable roots as possible and I am just teasing this out with my fingers trying to get as much as I can and honestly So you can see, really, there's very little bark because my fingers are really touching the rhizome of the plant. Um, as you can see, I'm just filtering the media through the roots that are there. So, yeah, it's mostly a lot of pumice at this point. Just trying to tease some of it out as much as I can. Although, at this point, I could probably just go ahead and put it in a pot. And I think I will. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I will do it. Because there wasn't really that much media in there. Uh, barely a little bit of mushroomy, but anywho, that'll be good for me. And so I picked either one of these two pots, depending on uh, if I need something more shallow or if I need more height. Because fortunately, this plant has not been growing up above like the previous growth. It stays pretty much uh, horizontal which is a good thing. So 
you can pretty much set it level in a pot. And I'm seeing another new growth right in there, right in there. So I think perhaps the shallow pot would be better. And honestly, I wish I had some lava rock because I would just, or not lava rock, any, any kind of rock. I don't because the gardening centers were closed and I think they might still be closed due to, uh, you know, the quarantine state shut down. But I think that would be perfect for that pot because it's like I said, it's a little more shallow. I'm gonna put peanuts in the bottom to lift it up even more. If I had lava rock or just any kind of rock, I could set it in there like such and the rock would hold the roots down. But in this case, I really just have the bark. I'm not putting any sphagnum. These want to dry out very well in between waterings. So, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I guess there is a little bit of sphagnum in here, but I am going to make sure that it dries well in between the watering. So as you can see, I'm really just twirling the plant around and filling it in, tapping it in, down so that it, so that it feels the empty spots inside of the pot. And I really need a steak that would be better for me to just, but the plant is fairly secure, but a steak would be better since it is a fresh repot. And then sort of the only last thing that I have to do is find where the tag went. Here it is. Good thing I didn't plant it like I did once before. Writing the date for uh, 20, <coughs> sticking it in here. And that's it, everyone. That's my repot. Thanks everyone for watching. Enjoy your orchids. Bye.